Hello everyone, I'm Blessing Adesiji, a developer advocate here at Circle. In this video and series that follows, you will learn about Programmable Wallet API and how you can use it to embed Web3 wallets within your app to have a seamless user experience. Now we'll focus on guiding you through the process of signing up for a developer account and familiarizing you with the developer dashboard. To sign up, navigate to circle.com forward slash wallet. From there, click on the button start building and that will take you to create an account. Impute your details and then create your account. I've created my own account and you can see I have access to the dashboard. Bear in mind that you are in the testnet environment and what that means is that everything you do right here is for testing purposes. We are ready to go beyond testing. You are ready to initiate your first real transaction. Click on this button to take you to access the mainnet. We are going to go over a couple of things that you can see on the dashboard. The first thing that you should know is that the dashboard helps you easily troubleshoot your application and better support your users. So you be aware of everything that you need to monitor and then you can understand your transaction, create different API keys, create your webhook and also understand the webhook uh, activity using the webhook logs. So you can see on the left pane, you can see access to API key, which is where you can create your API key. And we're also going to get to that in a couple of videos. And you can see all the API keys that I've created, either restricted or standard API key. If you navigate further down, this is where you can create webhooks. Webhooks let you stay on top of notifications for different resources while you use programmable wallets and you can see the API log section and the API log section helps you track different logs, different transactions that you've created, different API requests that you've sent through. Right now, I have no API logs because I've just created my account, but you see as we move further down, I will use this to monitor different requests, different API interactions that we're going to use with programmable wallets. There you can also see webhook logs. This is where you have all the logs for different webhook that you're using to monitor the notification. Uh, so if you need more help, you can also navigate and access the developer documentation using this button on the left pane also finally you can monitor different security access either user controlled or developer control configurator we're going to talk about a lot of this concept in more videos to come and keep watching in this video we delved into programmable wallet developer dashboard and you saw how to create your first account and navigate through the dashboard. Also, we clarified the distinctions between testnet and mainnet environment and showed you how to access more resources to understand how to build with programmable wallets. As we continue the series, we'll equip you with the knowledge and tools required to fully leverage the potential of Circle's programmable wallet API. Until then, my name is Blessing. Thank you for watching. Keep building and stay curious.